Hey, it's David Brown with The Sensorio Guy. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to live a life you truly want to feel valued. Know thyself, thy wants, thy needs. Did you want white or red? Or perhaps something else? I was extremely self-conscious as a young man and even into my adulthood and can still be at times. And I had to learn over the years to actually shift that from self-conscious to being conscious of self. And let me tell you one thing. If you don't know thyself, if you don't do the work yourself and take 100% responsibility for your own clarity, you're going to adopt someone else's wants and needs for you. That's not so good. I mean, how else are you going to live a life that you truly want if you don't know what you want? Second thing is fitting in is totally overrated. It's kind of like the hero's journey. You remember that moment when they come up to the forest, the knights, and they need to go into the forest to go across it? And they all arrive together, but then they spread out and go in by themselves. And they find their own way. They create their own path. And it's through creating your own path that you get to know yourself. Ugh! The number of times I tried to fit in, and it always turned out badly. Forcing it. Trying to do anything possible to try and change yourself to be somebody else than you are just to satisfy someone else's needs and wants. The third thing is you don't want to be stuck in a fixed mindset. You want to move towards a growth mindset. Fixed mindset is you were born with certain things, that's nature, and there's nothing you can do about it. The fixed mindset is a scarcity mindset. It's a lack mindset. It's I can't change mindset. It's I, I'm afraid mindset. It's this is too much for me, I can't handle this. I can't evolve, I can't grow, I can't transform. I have to just accept things as they are. The growth mindset is a shift in that to say, there are possibilities for me. If I get clear on what I want and I start heading and progressing that direction and I put my discipline and my will and my willpower and my focus and my awareness and my energy and my resources and my time and my life into growing, I start to see the shift in things. So just in your own mind to hold the sense that you can do something about this if you take 100% responsibility and you get the help that you need, you get the support you need, you surround yourself by the people that will help get you there and you get yourself into that state, into that place of the adventurer, the joyful warrior to take yourself to a new place. It could be a new level. It could be a different style. It could be whatever it is. But to go through life always attaching yourself to the growth mindset will keep you from getting complacent and jaded, too comfortable, overspending, overwasting, and not really contributing potentially to the life that you want to live, the one that gives you value. Fixed mindset, growth mindset. Look what you can do with this. The subject of pleasure. Life is full of joy and pleasure and beautiful moments. It's about smelling the roses along the voyage. And to be able to do this, you've got to be present. You've got to be aware. You've got to be noticing and observing. Become a, an expert at these types of things. So that as life is passing you by, the voyage is the destination. So savoring and appreciating and knowing when you're not present to bring yourself back into the moment so you can be there fully and get the most juice out of life. That's another powerful way to know that you're living the life that you want because you're enjoying the things that you want to their fullest. Do I want this? Yes, I do. <laughs> and enjoy life, because that's why we're here. <laughs>